Hey, what is going on guys? Today we're taking a look at something I'm very excited for. This is the Strelitzia from Darling in the Franks. Now, first off, a warning that I've never watched the show. I actually have no experience with the show, so I have no idea about the source material at all. I've seen like a couple of minutes of animation here and there, just like posted on Facebook or something. It looks really cool, but I've heard mixed reviews about the anime series. If I get a chance, sometime I'll watch it, but in the meantime, basically, I just think that this robot design is really cool. So uh, that's why I wanted to check this out. This is made by Good Smile Company, which is a uh, Max Watanabe company. This is a part of their Motoroid series, so this is like their series of uh, mecha plastic model kits. I've never built any, so I don't really know what to expect. Although my good friend over there, Moki Mats, recently built up this kit and warned that it's got some issues. So I think this might be a little bit of a challenging build. Just, I mean, even just for like the snap build, just getting it all snapped up. So I'm not too sure at the moment if after the unboxing we're going to have a regular sort of out of box review for this, or if it's really like not wanting to stay together at all and it's just going to be such a pain to even try to do an out-of-box review for it then I may you know go ahead and do some like sanding and gluing kind of work and stuff on it before we get to the review but anyway you guys will see a review of this uh, sooner than later so just hang tight for that in the meantime let's get into the unboxing so cool box art here on the front I like it just very simplistic I like that and it just makes the robot look really cool there of course so down here on the bottom just kind of the same kind of thing you just got a kind of front shot there same as on the top of the box. On this side, that's a little bit different. It's vertical or horizontal. Vertical instead of horizontal, but anyway, it's a little bit different. And then on this side of the box, it's gonna be there, just really cool image as well. And then on the other side is the same. But anyway, I like how like every angle of the box, it's a little bit different except for these two sides are the same, but so it makes it really cool. I think this is, this is the kind of box that like if you are collecting a bunch of Motoroid kits and just like had them all stacked up, they look really cool on your shelf just because the box is all kind of like uniform style. Not really much related to the model, but I do appreciate it just from like the art aesthetic, looking at the boxes on the shelf like that, having them all looking nice and clean. But anyway, here on the back of the box, you can see just uh, front and back image there of the kit with this giant big lance thing. Again, and don't exactly know what the name of that weapon is, but it's a lance of sorts, so let's to call it a lance. This is a multicolored kit, so this is just straight out of the box. It will be molded in pretty much all these colors, I think. All those colors should be represented. Maybe these white stripes on that yellow part, maybe we'll have uh, those not be there or something, but I don't know. We'll see how good the color separation is momentarily. And then some action poses here. It can do some action poses, so that's reassuring. And a little bit different way that these boxes open up. They open up like from the side and then open up like that. So kind of more like a, a shoe box than our usual average Gunpla box. Interestingly, this little paper here is something about the seal guide. So I guess how these stickers go on there around the wrist. Anyway, just got a bunch of runners and a bunch of little small little parts on this. I'm not exactly sure what the scale is supposed to be for this because it doesn't say anywhere as far as I can tell. So it's either non-scale or they just haven't said. And one thing I can tell is I've already seen a couple of parts here with some pre-painting on there. On the runner, it's kind of like what you see from a lot of times uh, from doing Code Book. You can see, you can see there's quite a few parts on here having some pre-painting on there. So that's going to make it really easy if you don't feel like painting it. Should have a lot of colors represented just straight out of the box. Our wire too also looks pretty good. I was a little bit concerned about how this was going to be, but it seems to be like it's kind of uh, like actual metal uh, wire in there. Then with just the rubber coating on that. We do have some stickers here though, unfortunately, and it's a little bit more than I was actually expecting on that, so that's not so good. And then finally getting down to the bottom here, it looks like we do have this maybe amendment page. This kit was delayed a bit. I think this was originally supposed to come out in like January and it didn't come out until like April, I believe, when it finally came out. So I don't know what the delays were, but even then with the delays, we still have this amendment page here. So I guess just the numbers are just gonna be a little bit different for that. Oh, this polycap wasn't it put it wrong. So instead of putting it in like that, I put it in this way. Anyway, we have a bag for the manual, which is kind of strange. A little bit of a waste of plastic there, Max. Might want to change that. But anyway, again, just that cool artwork from the front of the box. Here on the back, it just starts right into the construction. So if we hold it open, though, we do have a bunch more images here. You can see just the same kind of stuff. Basically, it's on the outside of the box. But then we do have, it looks like a sticker guide here. This is in color. So you'll have some stickers for around some different parts there on the kit. You can see where those will be going. Uh, our parts list here as well is all there. And so the construction just starts from here, building the head and what looks like the body, head, body, waist part, skirt parts around for that, then the shoulders and the arms, the legs and the legs, and then the weapon, and then our final assembly there and just how to kind of connect the stuff there at the end. So that is pretty much it, it looks like. Let's get a look at the runners. 
All right, so once again, here is that sticker sheet, and they really kind of feel more, not so much like the foil stickers that we usually get from a Bandai kit, but kind of like weird paper stickers, but they do, yeah, I mean, they're not like just totally paper, they're not foil either. Feel kind of a little bit rubbery, sort of, so I'm not sure how well these are gonna work, but I'll let you guys know in the review video later on. But anyway, you can see we do have some uh, stickers there for the eyes as well, like closed eyes, looking straight, looking left, looking right. And then once again, here is that wire again, it's just metal inside there, so it should bend pretty well, but as you can see, it's not really going to hold the shape too well, but it should be well enough. I guess we'll find out in the review, of course. In terms of length, it's right about 15 centimeters long, so not too long either. So here we have runner A getting into some of the larger white parts there for the legs, mostly it looks like, and a few other bits. Runner B, some of the smaller white parts, you can see there's some hand options and just a few other little bits. And we have our first couple of pre-painted parts there, the little red stripe down the front of there, and some red markings there on the breasts. We're gonna see here just some more parts in white, and we've got two of this C runner. Runner D is in this slightly bluish green tinted super dark gray color here for this. It's not quite black, and it's got definitely a little bit of a color tint to it, but this is gonna be for just some of the joint parts, it looks like basically some of the other little detail parts and things like that. And then runner E here is our face pieces, so if I turn this around you can see that a little bit better because so you can see one face we have pre-printed there which looks really nice the eyes on that and the other one just has blank eyes so you can use the different eye stickers for that if you want to so I'm not sure how easily it is going to be to change the faces out but you have a couple of options there so that's nice and then runner F as well also a small little runner here with some nice pre-painting some yellow and red pre-painted on the larger part for, for around on the head and then some little red bits painted on those little bits there on the side runner G here is in red you can see we have a little bit more pre-painting just a couple little parts there that have some black pre-painted on them and this is a good opportunity to show you the plastic texture here because it's not really easy to see on the white but you can see here on the red it has a little bit of not I don't want to say rough but it's not super shiny smooth plastic like you normally see from a Bandai kit or something like that it's got that little bit of sort of like almost matte finish to it where I don't think that's really necessarily intentional I think that's just the the plastic quality of this at, a, at my first impression of just handling these runners here so far, just the plastic quality of everything just does seem kind of reminiscent of just like a Chinese kit, something like a bootleg kit or mechanic core kit, something like that out of China. Now, I don't know, I'm sure that actual like physical, like chemical plastic property is good, but just like just the way that this, the runners are set up and things like that and just the texture of the plastic does remind me of a, a Chinese kit. Runner H here, some more parts in red and we do have two of this H runner. Runner I is all of our parts here in yellow. It's a pretty nice yellow color. Runner J is back to some more white parts with a little bit of pre-painting of red on that part there down in the bottom corner. And we've got two of this J runner. Runner K, just gonna be some more parts here in white. Runner L, just a few more parts here in red. And you can see a little bit of pre-painted yellow on that little part there on the side. And then runner M is a few more of that dark color part. And it's kind of hard to see, but you can see this horn here for the front of her head is actually pre-painted. That's in like a just kind of regular standard navy blue color. So it's a little bit different from the plastic color here that we have on the runner. And finally, runner P is a little bit softer plastic here for our polycaps. So it's not, doesn't feel quite as soft as your typical like Bandai polycaps. So it's kind of somewhere in between that, but it's definitely a little bit softer um, plastic here for these. So that is it for the unboxing, guys. I gotta say, first impression is that uh, I think this is gonna be an interesting process. Not going to be as simple as your standard Bandai kit, but I think it's going to be, yeah, interesting, fun. And as long as the end result looks cool, that's all that really matters. So, so either you guys will see just your standard out-of-box review for this very soon, or I'll have some other sort of video explaining about why that was maybe hard to do. But anyway, you guys will see this again very soon in a more built up state. In the meantime, guys, thank you so much for watching. And if you do have any further questions or comments, feel free to leave those down below. If you've built any of the Moderoid kits, or especially this one, definitely let me know uh, your thoughts down in the comments there. I'm interested to hear what you guys thought about this or other kits in the line, what you feel were the good and bad points of the process. So I hope you're all having a great day. I'll see you next time. Bye bye. Hey, thanks for watching, guys. Remember, if you want to check the kit out for yourself, you can head over to USA Gundam store. Use that coupon code ZAKURILIUS10. Save yourself 10%. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. Bye-bye.